Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get Android N's new navigation keys on Marshmallow. Now the next version of Android should be out in a few months, but we've recently seen rumors that the on-screen navigation keys will be getting a makeover. The triangle circle square motif is still there, but the shapes are now filled in with solid white, and the circular home button has four dots surrounding it. Those four dots are colored like the Google logo, and according to the rumor, they'll animate outward when you long press the home button, presumably to tease the new now on tap feature a bit better. This new layout may or may not make it into AOSP, cause it might just be a Nexus only thing, but we'll have to see about all that. In the meantime though, there's actually two different ways you can get this new layout on a Marshmallow device, but I'll let you know up front that you'll need to be rooted or at least have Cyanogemod installed. For the first method, you'll have to be running an AOSP-based ROM with Layers Theme Manager installed. And because of the way Layers works, you'll need to be on Android 6.0 or above. I've covered that whole process in the past, and basically all you have to do is install the Layers Manager app, then grant root access. But if you'd like some troubleshooting tips, just see the requirement section in my full tutorial. So as long as you have that stuff squared away, start by installing an app called nnavbar. This is a Layers theme, and is free on the Play Store so use the link in my full tutorial to get it installed. Once you've done that, just open the Layers Manager app, then select the in navbar theme in the list. From here, scroll down to the bottom of the page, then enable the toggle switch, and tap the floating action button. Once you've done that, just press OK on the pop-up, then reboot your phone to try out the new theme. So it's just a theme, which means that the rumored animation won't be there. But the buttons are filled in now, and you also get those four colored dots surrounding your home button. It's different, and some people don't like change, but after using this for a few days, I'm already a fan of the new style. But like I said, there's another method you can use to get these new buttons. For the second method, you'll need to have Cyanogemod 12 or 13 installed, and I've done that on my Nexus 5 already, so let me switch over to that phone. Now this method is even easier. Provided you're running CM12 or 13, just head to the Play Store and install an app called nnavbar cm1213. This is another one that I linked out in my full tutorial, so head over there to get started. But once you've installed the app, you'll get a notification from the Cyan and Jamad theme engine. Just tap this notification, then on the following screen, hit the floating action button in the bottom right corner. With this method, no reboot is needed. Just give it a few seconds, then you'll see the new navigation buttons. So there you have it, two easy methods for getting a taste of Android in on Marshmallow. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article on our new website at GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.